Hi, and welcome to the Rave Live. I'm Linda Kay, and I'm here with Brian of Hail a Villain. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fantastic today. Thanks. All right. Well, first of all, welcome to the Rave. Yeah, first thank you. I'm here. It's our first time yeah. here. We get to play the big room and uh, yeah. see you in hell. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Absolutely. What a great way to welcome and introduce yourselves here to Milwaukee. Other than the ballroom. Yeah, you're treating the Canadians really nice today. <laughs> Very nice. Well, let's just talk about this tour. I mean, the sick lineup. I mean, how has it been? We've been actually on the road with Seven Dust the yes, whole time, uh, and it's been better than we could ever have expected. I mean, those guys uh, have kind of taken us under their wing, taught us everything they know, um, but more or less been watching all our shows on the stage and, and uh, you know, wearing our shirts and stuff. We feel really welcomed. Yeah, was Papa Roach on that bill too? Papa was Roach was on uh, one of the shows, uh -huh. and then we did a couple festivals with them. Okay. And uh, yeah, they were really cool too. You know, the meeting them was uh, quite a treat. Well, let's talk about tonight, though. I mean, yeah. hell yeah, and see there. I mean. Yeah, I know. The last time I saw See There was uh, in uh, Toronto, our hometown, and they blew my mind. So I'm I'm really excited for that. And hell yeah, I've been warned. So uh, you know, just be careful around those boys, and, <laughs> and everything will be all right. So yeah, I'm actually really excited. Very nice. So let's just talk about how Hail the Villain came together. Uh, Hail the Villain uh, formed under a different name back in 2003. Um, I've known my bass player since we were young, young kids, just in kindergarten. And, uh, um, you know, we were just a punk band kind of writing tunes. And, uh, you know, we, we met up with a producer. And next thing you know, we uh, we had found a, a heavier, darker style. And uh, we've been the same six guy or four guys for the last seven years. And then you have your debut album out right now, Population Decline. It's about to come oh, out oh, sorry. June 8th. June 8th. Yeah. <laughs> Well, fill us in a little bit about that, about how you chose that title. What What is the significance of a Population Declining? Population Declining uh, is kind of an evil record. Um, it's it's heavy, it's dark, and it's melodic all at the same time. Um, Population Declining, the way we got the name was we recorded it in uh, a, a place called Dashwood County, which is a little... Um, bumhole town and there's about 3,000 people there during the summer a lot of Americans come up and party and uh, then in the fall it changes back to 300 people and we uh, while we were there the first time there was the 3,000 the big party everything felt good the vibe on the record was feeling pretty positive but when we came back to finish the record everyone had left it was fall it was dark it was cold it was nasty out so the population had declined and the mood had declined and so did the record. Oh, well, that's a great story to how that got Yeah, you. I just made it up right now. No, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the real deal. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> and I did see the video for Take Back the Fear. Are you just a big fan of animation like in itself? Or? Yeah, I'm a geek. Like, I'm, okay. I'm, a, I'm a fan of, like, uh, like, mo like video games and movies and that type of stuff. Never really a big fan of comic books. Um, but uh, when we kind of designed the record, we, we decided we weren't going to go with something generic. We were going to go with something that uh, felt a little bit bigger, a little bit more alive. And, and so this was the end result and we're really proud to say that we made it happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I did see, I believe it was you that quoted it on your Facebook site that you want to create an entire Hail the Villain um, universe. So what does that universe consist of? Uh, it, it consists of all the things that a good band should kind of have, which is good songs and, and a good live show. Um, but for us, more importantly, there's a, so a visual and a sonic side to it. So Hail the Villain's going to to work to create movies, to create comic books. I mean, two of them are already done and the videos are, you know, the second single's already being worked on. So we're kind of coming at this full tilt. The universe is something that, uh, you know, even with our website, you could spend an hour and a half on it alone. I did, just it. Searching that was fun. That. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, it's like a video game in its own right. Yeah. And we just want fans to have more to do than just kind of put it on their iPod and care about it for six months. We wanted them to dive deeper. So when is it any of like your comics or maybe a movie? I don't know what you guys are what else you're working on. When can we see that I know, I know the comic or... book. Uh, we just got Take Back the Fear sent to us, so we've seen it, and it looks fantastic. I almost broke your TV, but um, <laughs> it looks it looks really good, and uh, that will be coming out with the record pretty much mm -hmm. at the same time. Uh, and My Reward, which will be the second comic book, is being worked on as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping that a production company will pick up uh, the movie uh, after these videos come out and make it a full length 3D feature, which is, you know, uh, another pipe dream, but hey, we've got this far, so who yeah, knows? Yeah, that's awesome. And we did mention before, this is your first time here at the Rave. Did you get a chance to really walk through and explore the building yet? Yeah, I've had someone hold my hand the whole time because I got <laughs> no idea where I am. So, you no, know, this is a, a beautiful place, and there's, you know, this shouldn't be coming from a rock. I shouldn't say beautiful, but um, no, this is a really cool place. There's, there's just fantastic venues everywhere in here. I don't know how many there are, at least three that I've, I've seen so far so Stages. and then we, we did the we did the nice view too from the top and had a look out so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm loving Milwaukee no doubt yeah we have different stages that have different capacities all throughout the different floors of the building but again he's starting out here in the ballroom like the big one I mean that's that's 
Yeah, like ever since I saw Wayne's World when I was young, <laughs> I've always wanted to come to Milwaukee and, yeah. and, and check it out. So yeah, this is really cool. Sweet, sweet. All right, I know we talked about some of the other upcoming projects, but um, what else is next? I mean, I'm assuming more touring and... Yeah, after this tour, we go home uh, to, to Canada to do a few runs, and then we go to Japan to do two shows, which we're really excited about. Uh, and then we do the Uproar Tour with Disturbed yes. and Avenged Sevenfold and Hell Yeah. Saw that later this summer. Like yeah, that August. starts in August, I okay. believe. Yeah, yeah, I'm really stoked about that. That's going to be a great time. If Seven Dust wasn't enough of a treat for us this mm -hmm. year, then you know now we get to do this tour, so it's just been great. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Brian, for great. joining no us. Problem. Thank you for taking the time. Yeah, yeah to so do thank this with you. Us. Hopefully, next time you can join us again here on the Rave Live. I would, no doubt. All right, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And thank you for watching the Rave Live. Make sure to check out Hail the Villain's upcoming release, Population Declining, and we'll see you soon next time on the Rave Live.